Hi everyone, as you may know, you cannot use BitLocker encryption unless you are using Windows Professional or Enterprise Edition. So you may ask yourself, is there a way to encrypt files and folders in Windows 10 Home Edition? The answer is yes, then it's free. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download a portable version of Veracrypt and create a shortcut to run the program. Next, I'll show you how to create an encrypted volume in a file container and move all your sensitive documents to the container. This way, you can encrypt files and the folders in Windows 10 Home Edition. First, go to this website, look for the latest version, and download the portable versions. And even though Veracrypt is a small utility, it is powerful enough when it comes to encrypting the files or hard drive. And this is the file we have downloaded. Next, we need to create a new folder for this program. In my file explorer, under the C drive, right click on the empty space and select new folder. Give it a name so we can recognize what it does. For example, Vera. Now let's copy the portable version of Veracrypt and put it in this Vera. Double click on it to extract the file. We can change the language or click OK. Click on the box to accept the license term. Then click on next. We can extract it to the same folder with the original file, then click on Extract. All files have been successfully extracted to Vera. As you can see in my file explorer, this file is our portable file that we will use to encrypt and decrypt the container. Let's create a shortcut on our desktop so we can easily run this utility. Right click on the desktop, select New and Shortcut. Click on Browse button and browse to the C drive to the Vera folder and select Veracrypt x64.exe and click on OK. Then click on Next. You can give it any name, for example, Veracrypt. Now we have created the shortcut to the desktop. To run the program, we just double click on this icon. Next step, I am looking for a place where I can put the file container. The best place is in the Documents folder. Later, I'll move my sensitive documents, for example, this account folder, to the container so I can encrypt all documents in there. In order to create the file container, I run this Veracrypt utility. This is the program. Then click on Create Volume. Basically, a volume is just a storage space. In the Volume Wizard, there are three options. The first one is for creating a volume in an encrypted file container. The second option is for encrypting a non-system partition, like a partition on a hard disk or on a USB drive. See my previous video on how to encrypt documents on the USB drive, so you'll know how to use this option. And the third option is to encrypt the entire system drive, for example, the whole C drive where my Windows is located. For the purpose of our video, let's select the first option, a volume in a file, then click on Next. Now, there are two options here. Do you want to create a standard volume or hidden volume? The first one should be good enough. So click on next. Now we have to tell the program where our volume location is. Click on select file. Let's change it to documents folder because we want to create a new file right here. Let's give it a file name so you can recognize what this file is for. For example, I enter the name accounts in uppercase, then click on save. Now we already tell the program that the volume should be created in this file. Click on next. There are several algorithms for the encryption that we can choose in the menu, but this default one should be good enough. So we click on next. The program asks how big is the volume. Before entering the number, you should also think about keeping a second copy of this volume somewhere else. For example, on the external USB drive or on Google Drive. Since my account folder is not too big, I will choose the volume size of 10 gigabytes. Then click on Next. Enter the password and confirm. Then click on Next. As you can see, a message pops up saying that the password is too short and recommends 20 characters. I think my password is good enough, so I click on Yes to confirm. Now, the program asks if we intend to store a large file more than 4 gigabytes. If you do, select Yes. Otherwise, select No and click on Next. My file system is fat because I do not have any file larger than 4 gigabytes. If you do, then you have to use NTFS. Move the mouse randomly within the windows until we see the green bar and click on Format. The message pops up asking whether we want to disable Windows Fast Startup. Basically, the Windows Fast Startup feature prevents the computers from shutting down completely and not dismounting the Veracrypt volume properly, and upon booting up, not prompting the password. So please make sure you dismount the volume after you finish your work before you shut down the computer or let it go to hibernation mode. As I don't want to change any settings on my computer, I click on No. The format is pretty fast. 15 seconds for the 10 gigabytes file container. 
the Veracrypt volume has been successfully created and ready for use. So click on exit. As you can see in my file explorer, this account in uppercase is a file container that stores our encrypted volume. My file explorer can't even open it. When I double click on the file, my file explorer doesn't know which program to use. Next step, I'm going to show you how I open this container and move my accounts folder on the C drive to the container. So all the documents in the accounts will be encrypted. First, let's run the portable program. I'm going to assign a drive letter to our encrypted volume, for example, X. Then click on Select File. And select Encrypted Volume in this file. Then click on Open. Then click on the Mount button. Enter the password. Now the encrypted volume becomes X drive where I can store files. Let's have a look at the X drive. As you can see, it's currently empty. Go to the C drive, select this account folder, press Ctrl X, then go to the X drive, right click and select paste. Now I have successfully moved the account folder to X and I can access all documents in the subfolders. Here, X represents the encrypted volume, and the encrypted volume is located in the file named Accounts in uppercase. If I click on this mount, the encrypted volume is closed. All my files in that volume are protected. Basically, that is all about how to encrypt files and folders in the Windows Home Edition. If you found this video helpful, please support us by clicking on the subscribe button and see our next video. Thank you for watching.